Hey everybody, welcome back to the third video of Chris Redfield's uh, Chapter 3 campaign. We are going after that snake. We chased it through some rooms and fought it and it went through here. So here we go. And that's not something you can control, of course. So we find ourselves in this room with the snake and here it is it's gonna knock you around a bit but that's okay our weapons are doing anything then we have to find something that will and here the game pretty much just told you what to do you need to run along this uh, lower area Avoiding the snake, Sh don't bother shooting at it till you get to this ladder. We climb up here, and we're going to be using this uh, switch right here. We're going to pull it as the snake is going through. But this scene's going to happen every time. Marco's going to help Boy, us out. Power this thing up. I'm on it. giving himself a good shock in the process and there's uh, two herbs up here too by the way I find that if you do not uh, shock him right the first time it's best to jump down and make sure he doesn't come up to this upper area because he will come up here Captain, do it now. I guess I was a little too late there what a shame uh, yeah, there's two green herbs in this upper area. Be sure to grab them. Okay, here we go. Good timing. Perfect. And that's pretty much how you defeat this uh, quote-unquote boss. <laughs> we did it. That's some we satisfying that crackling right there. <laughs> okay, we are done with Octo Snake. He is dead. Marco, are you okay? Be sure to Marco. grab those two green herbs. Leave one of them. Don't uh if I don't know what combination of herbs you're gonna have, but leave one of them on its own. Head over to Marco, he'll pull you up. Starting to like this guy. He's pretty much the only guy besides Chris and Piers that's still alive. And that is why you want to leave one of the green herbs alone, because uh, Marco always has a red herb behind him. So some good health rewards for killing Octo Snake. Don't go near that plug, by the way, unless you want to get shocked like Marco did. Well, <laughs> I learned that the hard way. I'm not gonna rest until we have her head on a stick. Okay, well now it's pretty much Chris going after Ada time. This is crazy. It's not safe in here. We need to pull out. Captain! Looking for me, boys? Welcome to China. Ada! Hmm. Wait! We've got no choice. We have to kill him. He'd do the same for us. Well, new mutation time. This is a B type enemy called a Znido. Starts with a G. I think I'm saying that right. I'm, I have no idea. Anyways, there is the main enemy of the Znido form. That large, large B. It hides behind the smaller bees in a woman's form. Which uh, doesn't really make any sense right now, but it'll make sense later. Its main attacks are swarming you, like this. 
which takes some wiggling and does constant health damage. And uh, it also sends out these bee swarms like that. You don't want them to hit you, but they're pretty slow moving. Using the handgun, I don't know what I was thinking there. That's a much more effective method. Use a shotgun or something uh, wide to scatter the swarm and then uh, take out the bee. And once you do, you'll be able to pick up this C4. I saw in the during the cutscene my friend uh, Xylokide logged on. He's a cool guy. I actually wrote my Final Fantasy 13-2 guide with him. So shout out to Zai. Hi Jonathan. How you doing man? I know he's looking to write some more on Final Fantasy 13-2. And of course Chris is pissed that Marco just died. Poor Marco, he went through so much. We have the C4 to remember him by. <laughs> oh, Marco's C4. We're going to use it right away too on this door here. See, any other door you would just kick open, but Chris has a C4 and God damn it, he's going to use it. Small scene. Stay calm. After what she's done to us, how many of our men are dead because of that bitch? I'm right there with you, Captain. But your personal vendetta isn't going to get us anywhere. If you hadn't been blinded by vengeance, we could have prevented some of those deaths. Shut up. Do you even care about our mission anymore? Shut up! I feel sorry for all the men that died believing in you. <laughs> What happened to the legendary Chris Redfield, huh? What happened to you? It's a good thing Finn's not around to see you this way. I'm going after Ada. HQ, this is Alpha Leader. I need a location on Ada Wong. I'm going with you. Someone's got to keep an eye on you, whether you want them to or not. Yeah. That's actually a pretty cool cutscene. This is HQ. We've got the location for you. Ada Wong has left Definitely the city helps to make Chris more human, relatable, teams. I guess. Ada Wong has been spotted heading south for the harbor. We I mean, he's still alive. basically Superman in this universe. Can't contract the disease. Superhuman strength. I think they definitely tried to make him more vulnerable, more of a person. And there's another friend of mine, Vinheim. I wrote a guide of uh, Chrono Trigger with him. As long as you don't cross the line again, that won't be a problem. I got a lot of guide riding friends, guys. When are you gonna realize that? That's kind of what I've been doing for the past couple years, so it's not too surprising. Faith in your captain. He's a good guy. We play uh, mercenaries together sometimes, not as often as I'd like. And he's good. Over there, there's going to be some enemies popping out where uh, I was pointing the gun at. I check this out. <laughs> Stunned. That was uh, Piers dropping. There's the enemies. That was Piers jumping down onto the boat. Uh, I like to come over here and grab these uh, crates first. There's some crates over here you can grab. You can save those though. We gotta head this way a little later. Okay, let's try to, uh, there's a good hiding spot over there where Piers is. There's a good one right here where you can take these enemies out. You may as well take them out before trying to continue on.
appears as being kind of slow about it. It's cool that they got a train running up there. Oh, Vinheim did some of the uh, Skyrim guide too that I wrote. Oh, what else did he do? Uh, Devil Survivor. I haven't played that, but I hear it's really good. Oh, grasshoppers. Ah. They, uh, they like to hang back and shoot at you. As you progress further in this area, as you see more Javo come out and try to play. And that one just mutated. There's another sniper. <laughs> I'm ducking just in case. I like to bum rush these guys, which may or may not be smart. I don't know. Don't feel like you have to do this if you aren't comfortable with it. I think I end up doing a pretty decent job here, actually. As you saw, that one uh, cocooned up. He's going to turn into a Napod earlier. Oh yeah, I'm doing really good dodging these shots so far. It's almost like a game, just trying to dodge the shots. I'm pretty sure this guy cocoons up too. Yep, yep, sure enough. He also turns into a Napod. So we're going to fight two Napods here coming up. That guy is easiest. Well, he's you can take him out easier from from the starting area. I'm pretty sure I just ignore him in this video. And punch. And jump behind. Be game. Not sure who that is. Don't be mad at me, whoever that is. And grenade. Which is a great idea. I killed one of them. And two of them dead. So there's 3,000 skill points for us. It's a great idea to use that uh, left area, jump in between the boats to keep the napods away from you. Especially if there's any enemies or snipers alive in the right area. I don't think I grabbed that ammo. Definitely should have. Okay, here we are. Co-op door. Oh, you know what? I die in this video. I remember. We're about to encounter another helicopter. These are kind of cheap deaths though, kind of like the snowmobile. I don't know if you guys have played the Jake campaign yet, but there's a snowmobile chase. It's really easy to die. Captain, get a hold of yourself. That helo's about to open up on us. Right, as Pierce points out, forget Ada. Run. <laughs> That's, a, that's all a scene right there, but quickly run and then take a sharp left. As you see, Piers is leagues ahead of me right here. That thing will fire rockets at you as long as you're on the move. It shouldn't be a big concern. If the uh, AI gets ahead of you, follow him. He knows his way. It's a pretty linear path. Keep the, the X button held down, though. Don't fight this enemy. Run past them. Don't melee him, run past them. And continue down, you'll be faced by the chopper. Take a left. Keep going, keep going. See, I uh, spent some time switching weapons, probably should not have done that. But there's these grasshopper enemies right here, you need to run past them. If they get in your way too much, do a quick shot, or if this Napod and see him hitting me, definitely slowed me down. 
See, I was too slow. Overall, too slow. Being too slow will kill you. If Chris is too slow, you'll start over. If Piers is too slow, you'll start over. Very frustrating if you're playing uh, multiplayer co-op online and uh, one of you has a bad run one time, one of you has a bad run the second time. You need to work, you need to definitely work at perfecting this. Now this time I do it, I remember. Don't talk, just run! Definitely dodging the, dodging that enemy is easy. Dodging the grasshoppers in the pod is a little bit more trickier. They're a little bit wider. If you've uh, made it, you know, this far without any hangups, you can you can get away with a couple things. You can take a quick shot with a grenade launcher. You can do all sorts of things. Of course, running is probably best. You don't want to fight these guys. Here at the end, take a left, go up the platforms, and jump to the restaurant boat. Once you've landed on it, you're safe from sinking. Very important. Now we have to take out this uh, helicopter. I highly recommend uh, going up to the second floor of the boat. First of all, because there's uh, items in these uh, restaurant rooms, like that red herb right there. There's also enemies, so be careful. All right, we can drop that chopper Red here. urn, these bases are actually uh, just like wooden crates. They have a uh, grenade launcher ammo in it for you. There's a green herb. So, I mean, there's six health tablets right there. There's two rooms in total. So be sure to visit them both. As you see, I was full up on uh, 40 millimeter explosives, which is a great thing to be full up on when you need to take down a helicopter. But before we take down the helicopter, let's get the third serpent emblem of the chapter. Head to the left side of the boat. Now here in the construction area, there you see the serpent emblem. Right there on the bamboo construction. Take it out quickly. You don't want to be out and about in the exposed area for that reason. <laughs> you don't want to get hit by the chopper. But you do want to get that serpent emblem before you take the chopper down. If you feel like you're taking too much time getting the serpent emblem, go back inside the room. Uh, maybe lure the chopper off to the right, then run back to the left. Whatever you got to do to get that serpent emblem. Be careful of any respawning Javo. It's a great place to reload is inside the rooms here. I like to run in and out of them to try to confuse the thing. And it doesn't work all the time naturally. Yeah, there we go. We took them down. Okay, well that's the end of this video, guys. The door behind you will open up that... Uh, explosion opens it up Let's and go. you can continue on but I'm gonna cut the video here soon yeah there's the there's the the path onwards okay well we took down a helicopter and got a serpent emblem that's good progress okay talk to you guys later